Hi, Andrew Brown here for Twin Spires on the backstretch here at Del Mar Racetrack. We're just three days out from the start of the World Championships. Here's your top stories for today. The Breeders' Cup contingent from Churchill Downs arrived at Del Mar around 10.30 p.m. last night and it was straight back to work early this morning. Essential quality stretching his legs at first light. Just jogged him today. Like I said, uh, yesterday was meant to be his walk day. Today's meant to be his jog day. And you finally drew a marble with Papa Cup. I love the post position there. Um, I think our horse is training really well and he's going to run really well in there. We drew 14. I was like, I'm okay. I'm good with that. Aiden, that was quite an impressive display there. It's like the charge of the light brigade. Yeah, I know. Um, everything went well. Though. They seemed all very happy and they followed along each other nice and relaxed as well. So I'm not delighted really. Fausto Gutierrez is the two-time Mexican and triple crown winning trainer chasing an American dream. To win the Breeders' Cup, it's for sure it's a dream. While a win in the Breeders would be the icing on the cake for Latruska this season, the cherry on top could come a little later on. So I set the under over for wins for you here at one and a half. Are you on the uh, unders or the overs? Uh, overs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your best chance? <laughs> Space Blues, he's the class horse. And Space Blues has won the Breeders' Cup mile! What can we read into Roger Varian skipping the Phillies and Mares race and going for the turf with uh, Tiona? Well, first of all, I think it's a really brave move taking on Tanawa in the Breeders' Cup turf. It's 21 on the morning line, and I think she'll be a little bit ignored. Thanks, JK. I know you want to get back to the hotel to change into a suit, so I'll let you go. Of course, Twin Spire is the place to bet every single race of breeders. Tell us about Love's Only You. You can make a real case for this one, this dual Group 1 winner. What would it mean for Japan Racing and for you guys to win the Breeders' Cup? Oh, Chris, it's absolutely amazing because Japanese horse never won Breeders' Cup. Here comes Love's Only You to win it for Japan! Horse players are, are having a little bit of difficulty um, separating Nixco and Essential Quality in terms of favoritism. Can you help them out? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I cannot. But, uh, you know, excited about being in the position with both horses. Nixco, a superstar, wins the Breeders' Cup Classic. Medina Spirit was second, Essential Quality was third.